Halo 4 flight has ended, so when can we expect this game to come out with all its new features? And one thing you guys absolutely need to do if you have any user generated content you want to bring over to PC and you only get one chance to do it. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video so more people get a chance to see this video as it hits the algorithm better. So let's get right into the content here. So many of you long time viewers on the channel or just MCC players in general might remember the trans file transfer thing that was happening about a year ago back when they were saying hey if you want if you have any Xbox 360 maps or game modes or videos you want to bring over do this update that's coming with the game coming to, with reach coming to pc that's the time you have to do it all you do is log into your xbox maybe move some things into your file share and then you're totally fine well the same thing is happening again but for your mcc on xbox one content so the main thing to walk away from this is saying if you think you have any user generated content that's forge maps you know theater modes game modes things like that on Xbox One version of the MCC before the December 2019 update last year, they're encouraged to log in once onto the Xbox One version of the game soon. S343 will be updating this one-time migration for the process that comes along with releasing Halo 4 on the PC. So literally all you have to do is just from now until the release of Halo 4 on PC, just log in onto the Xbox version guys so you can get your content over the PC as well. And just to be safe, if there's anything you really want to have you know brought over you just want to make sure it's put in your file share as well to make sure it all works properly yes guys the flight has just ended for halo 4 on pc and on xbox as well let's now some cross play awesomeness right there i certainly put my fair share of time in. i played a lot of it on stream last night if you guys want to check me out check the link in the description down below for our twitch channel guys and yeah cross play works input based matchmaking seems to be working all right and you know server region selection that's working too so those are the three main features i'm really looking forward to with the release of halo 4 on pc and seeing those features working so well in the flight makes me think that this release date of Halo 4 coming to PC and the update for the Xbox version as well will be coming around much sooner than you'd normally expect it to have happen. Normally after a flight ends, there's about a two or three week period between the end of the flight and the release of the game. And from my experience of playing the flight guys, that it ran rather well. I mean, when they first came out, there were definitely some issues, but then those got fixed in the mid-flight update where they when they actually also brought in Halo Reach as well and to test out some more things there for more cross-play and variable frame rate improvements and things like that. That just leads me to believe that this product might still release within the month of November. From the last known issue update, there were 15 errors still within the game. Now, some of these might not be game-breaking enough to where they actually need to fix before the release, but they know some that they are issues. But I do expect most of these known issues to get cleaned up rather quickly. If you wanna know one thing you don't actually have to wait for at all, you can jump on right now. If you wanna support this channel, you can go by and check out our merchandise page, guys. We have linked right here. It's gonna be linked in the description down below and below this video, you can just click on one of those icons right there. Buying anything on this webpage directly helps support the channel and we greatly appreciate it. Right now we just got some logo merchandise and we have a cool like Halo 2 inspired button combo kind of shirt with a lot of hoodies and t-shirts down here as well. Uh, guys, if you want to check us out, we'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, every, like I said, every little bit helps. And if you do buy anything, guys, let me know. You know, I will share it in a video because I think having that huge support is really, really helpful, guys, for the channel and uh, really helps kind of keep the lights on what, what we're doing over here. But enough selling out. Let's get right back into the video here. Now, the reason why I, I believe that it will happen within the no month of November is one, I'm sure they probably want to get this done before the Thanksgiving break that's going to happen, guys. Generally, at Microsoft, things are pretty slow and quiet after the thanksgiving weekend obviously this year's a little different with the whole pandemic situation so i believe a pre-thanksgiving time frame would make sense i would think that it would either have to be the tuesday before thanksgiving which would be the 24th 
or what I'm likely thinking will be, will be the 17th of November. The reason why I think November 17th is because the MCC will be receiving a big, big update just in general for the Xbox Series X, where you'll be able to play at 120 frames at 4K and also on the Xbox Series S, you'll be able to play at 120 frames at 1080p, meaning that there's gonna have to be a big update to the game, most likely having to go through Microsoft's validation process when it comes to updating their games. If you guys don't know, basically 343 has to put together a patch, then send it off to Microsoft to have it be certified for their product to have it be updated onto their platform. It's a bit of an arduous process and they've been trying to work around it, but it's something that's always been there. This sounds like probably something that would need another certification process as well, certainly with every game update coming to the MCC, which would make me think you'd probably try to pile these all in together kind of thing. And so then it would make sense for me to see Halo 4 releasing on the 17th, which is on a Tuesday. And there's a big MCC update for the game on the Xbox Series X. I would just think it would generate more hype for the people to play the game on that platform when you're like, hey, check out Halo 4 at these awesome settings. You probably want to try it out. And the reason why I wouldn't really expect to see it happen during the week of Thanksgiving, because a lot of times people are out for the holiday week in general, honestly. You know, they do take Thursday and Friday off, but a lot of times people are in and out or on vacation throughout the whole week. So there might be some people kind of short staffed right there for that game. So I think they'd really want to push for that November 17th release. And for how squeaky clean that flight was after the mid-flight update, guys, I would highly suspect that to be true. Hey everybody, make sure you jump in, get your file share on, and make sure you get your content updated, guys, on just make sure logging on to the Xbox One version so then you get your content transferred over properly as well if you want to play it on PC. And also, guys, keep an eye out for that Halo 4 PC release date. As soon as we get an actual date confirmed, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel as we do pretty much upload content daily on here. So thank you so much for watching guys, I greatly appreciate it. If you've been out of the loop of Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. i got a link to all my news and informational videos. You've been, uh, you know, kind of slacking on your news updates. So thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.